quick warning, what we're about to look at is extremely disturbing to say the least. It is uh, alleged footage of X's killer bragging and mocking X's death, also explaining why he did what he did. Let's go ahead and check this out. What y'all doing, bro? I don't got nothing. What y'all doing, bro? What y'all doing, bro? I don't got nothing, bro. Please, please don't do it. Oh, please don't shoot my guy, kid. I got people to live for. I got people to live for. Please don't. Please don't. <laughs> I have one question for you. Is this mental illness? Is this mental illness? When you have someone who's going to go out and kill someone, not think anything of it, and go get a cheeseburger afterwards. Fuck that nigga, man. Fuck that ex nigga, man. Y'all know what it is with us, man. For real. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to pin the wrong niggas with the murder, bro. Real nigga shit. <laughs> ah, Y'all should have heard this nigga last words, bro. Please, no, 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 please. Bitch ass nigga. <laughs> yeah, nigga. You should never did that to my cousin. So he's saying that X apparently did something to his cousin. Now, I, I don't know about that. We haven't learned about that yet. But that is interesting that he threw that in there. Apparently, X did something to his cousin. No. And that's that violent cycle. That to my cousin. Goes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. He know what he did. He know what's up with us. He know he know what happened. Fuck him. This for any other Florida rapper. Fuck you. You know what I'm saying? You do any fuck shit, we gonna come for you. We gonna catch you anywhere. Broad daylight. I don't give a fuck. It wasn't that nigga daylight. last words with no. Please don't. I got people to live for. I got fans. So bitch ass up, nigga. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Fuck the police. I already got a warrant for a fucking murder. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck. Fuck that nigga X, man. Nigga deserve what the fuck he got. Real nigga shit. Took the Louis Vuitton bag. He only had 10 bands and all. 10 bands ain't shit. I got more than that. You know what I'm saying? But fuck that dude X, man. I know... I know what's up, man. It's for any Florida rapper, man. Ten you bands. I, how much is ten bands? Is that ten thousand, or that be stacks? I don't, why don't you just call it a thousand? Why don't you just call it the right number? Man, Fuck. For any Florida rapper doing all that pussy ass ditching, y'all gonna die. Y'all gonna die. I'm I don't doubt fuck. that. I don't give a fuck how y'all come. Y'all gonna die. You know what I'm saying? Y'all diss the gang. Y'all gonna die. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know who we is, man. The streets know. That's Again, these dangerous people. What is the answer when you've got a country with so many people that are just ready to go out and kill and they don't think anything of it? What do you do? What do you do? I think I think we our country needs some help. That's all I gotta say, I think man. we need Fuck some answers eggs, what man. we need. Dying piss, I'm about to roll up an X pack, man. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that nigga, you know what's up. We killed that bitch ass nigga. Uh -huh. This ain't no stunt. This ain't no cap. We killed that bitch ass nigga. I don't give a fuck. I already wanted for murder. So shit. I'm out here shooting rappers up left to right, man. I catch you lacking nigga. We gonna light y'all bitch ass up in traffic. I don't give a fuck, man. I don't doubt it. And these bitch ass boys claiming that body, man. Y'all niggas know y'all ain't do that shit, man. Real talk. Y'all niggas know who did that shit, man. Stop playing, man. Real talk, man. Y'all niggas know who did that shit, man. Whatever the dude name, his name, Jojo, whatever them niggas out there claiming. Man, y'all niggas stop lying on bodies, man. Y'all know y'all ain't do that shit, man. We did that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? We did that shit. Took the Louis Vuitton bag. He only had 10,000 in there. 10,000. Exact. You know what I'm saying? He had it all up in rubber band. Took that from him. Fuck him. I don't give a fuck him. I really wanted for murder and robberies and shit around Florida. So I don't give a fuck, man. Y'all come for me, come for me, bitch ass nigga. Y'all don't know where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? Look where I'm at, bitch ass nigga. Y'all know how we coming. I don't give a fuck. Fuck you. If for any Florida rapper, do any that dissing. I'm telling you. Do any that dissing, you're going to be in there like X, bitch ass. His last words, please don't, please don't. Please, I got fans to live for. Fuck you and your fan, nigga. Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> All right. In discussion. His last words, please don't, please don't. Please, I got fans to live for. Fuck you and your fan, nigga. When this video came out, it upset millions of people around the world. The good news, he is now behind bars.
The Broward County Sheriff's Office has made another arrest in the XXX Tentacion homicide case. Police say that Michael Boatwright, 22 years old, was taken into custody on July 5th on unrelated drug charges. Five days later, Boatwright was served an arrest warrant while he was in jail. He was armed at the time of X's death and police suspect him to be the shooter. Police believe that Boatwright was one of two armed suspects who approached X while he was sitting in his vehicle on June 18th. The suspects are accused of robbing the rapper before shooting and killing him. The incident occurred after X left Riva Motorsports in Deerfield Beach, Florida. On July 10th, detectives served Boatwright with an arrest warrant for first-degree murder. Just before 4 p.m. on June 18th, Boatwright and another armed accomplice confronted X in an apparent robbery as he was leaving Riva Motorsports. At least one of the suspects fired a gun, shooting X. Both of the suspects fled in a dark color SUV. X was transported to Broward Health North where he was pronounced dead. Now Boatwright is the third person named by police in connection with X's murder and the second arrest made in the case. This is Diedrich Williams, another one of the men responsible for XXX Tentacion's death. We've done a few videos looking into who Diedrich Williams is, checking out his social media. I've got a link pinned in the comments to the playlist where you can learn all about who Diedrich is. Police arrested the first suspect, Diedrich Williams, on June 20th. Williams has been charged with first-degree murder without premeditation. A man by the name of Robert Allen is also being sought by police in connection with the case. Surveillance video showed Allen outside the Deerfield Beach motorcycle dealership June 18th, shortly before the 20-year-old rapper was gunned down. Now, Michael Boatwright has been arrested on various charges over the past five years. Back in 2013, he was arrested in Broward County for assault on specified officials or employees. A few weeks later, he was arrested for selling cocaine or heroin within 1,000 feet of a school. As a result of these charges, he was placed on community control. Community control is a type of home confinement incarceration similar to probation, defined by Florida as a form of intensive supervised custody in the community including surveillance on weekends and holidays, administered by officers with restricted caseloads. In 2015, he was arrested on drug charges after being found with PVP and weed. The 2015 arrest also included felony violations of community control. Now, Soldier Kid has not been named as a suspect in the case, but the internet was convinced that he shot X. Rappers Soldier Kid and Soldier Jojo were posting various photos and videos on their social media following X's death. Many of the photos that they shared showed the two rappers with a red mask, while early reports claimed that the suspects were seen with a red mask. Not helping calm the masses, Soldier Kid posted a photo on his Instagram the same day of X's death, showing that he had picked up food from Hook Fish and Chicken, which is located very close to where X was shot. The image featured food sitting next to a handgun. Soldier Kid used the attention to his benefit, sharing clips of his music and even releasing a new single. Michael Boatwright had numerous warning signs on his Facebook and Instagram. As XXX Tentacion was leaving the motorcycle dealership, a vehicle of men pulled up, blocked him in, jumped out, started shooting at him, ended up taking his life. Today, we're actually looking at this footage. It's been released along with footage of X inside of the dealership when the criminals were plotting on him. Let's see what we've got here today. So first off, notice how X is standing here talking to the guy working the dealership, looking at the motorcycles. Notice right here, check out that look where he looks back again. He looks at them once, he kind of looks away. Now keep this in mind here, because I really want you to see this. Look at the glance, that's a strong glance right there, he's looking at them. Now, if you're familiar with X, you'll know he was a really spiritual person. And I believe he had a strong power of intuition, and that he knew something wasn't right. He could feel it, he sensed the danger, and that's why immediately, you'll see, he kind of turns off, he's all right, we gotta get out of here now. Also, just look at the way he's looking over at them, while his friend over here is just kind of moseying along, not really, not really too aware of what's going on. Now these are the scumbags responsible for X's death. You have Dedrick Williams, aka Tattoo Man Chucky, who was one of the ones we saw walking by, along with Robert Allen. The two of them walked by while they were inside. Now Michael Boatwright and Trayvon Newsom, on the other hand, were the two gunmen who hopped out of the vehicle. Now, the suspects are all pleading not guilty. One of them, Dedrick Williams, even having the uh, audacity to seek $10,000 for his own private investigation to prove his innocence. Now, some people are really upset with X's friend who was with him when this happened, because you'll see here, his friend jumps out of the car, he's being shot at as well, and he runs away. Now, my question is, what would you have done if you were in this situation? He didn't have any weapons with him. But he did abandon X. He didn't try to stop. Even if he had tried to stop them, you can't fight two people with guns when you don't have guns. So I'd love to know from you, what do you think? Do you think that that was wrong of him to run away like that? Most of us have never been in that situation. Hopefully none of us ever will be. And another question I have for you is, once someone reaches the certain level of fame, 
Should they have security with them everywhere they go? Um, a lot of people don't want to be seen as soft, and they may think, oh, it's soft when you have security, but no. It's, there comes a point where you just have to be smart about things, and once you have that level of where you're known, you, you have to have some sort of security with you wherever you go. They can't 100% stop this sort of thing from happening, but they can definitely deter some of these would-be thugs who would try to who would try to kill you and take what you have. I ain't saying I'm what I want to be in life, but I'm succeeding, you feel me? Just keep on doing what you're doing, my nigga. And, 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 and one day, you're going to shine, my nigga. Everybody have their time. Everybody have their ups and downs, too. But you got to struggle through that. You got to be strong through that. You gotta be willing to take losses. You feel me? Diedrich Williams quickly rose to public enemy number one after he was accused of the murder of XXX Tentacion. Today we're on Diedrich's Instagram page where we're looking at some of the posts that he left behind, seeing what we can make of this. Now, first off, I, you see this 26 shots. Now, I don't know about Florida and Florida gangs, but from what I've heard, that is a, a part of the gang, the Z's. And that's why he talks about the Z's. We saw that video of his brother talking about Z's as well. Man, check this fly ass shit out, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? All y'all out there got my brother name and y'all mob and shit, man. Keep my brother name out y'all motherfucking mob, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Now, this is a recurring theme you're gonna see here, is that Diedrich really likes taking these pictures with uh, showing off lots of money. And what is this one? This one is, uh, yeah, he's, uh, just driving around recording. I guess that's his friend. So many people are just so upset because of this. I mean, you took away someone from them that people loved. You took, you took his life. So he's getting a lot of hate sent his way. And well, again, always, always posting the pictures with the money. Got some Arizona tea over here. That's the fruit punch flavor, it looks like. What are the people saying? People are saying things like, uh, this prince says you're an idiot. How can you live with yourself? You killed X, look like a gorilla. Yeah, people are angry. He killed their hero. Zombies Inc. That was actually the name of his, uh, tattoo company, I believe. Uh, he was Tattoo Man Chucky. He did a lot of tattoos. You'll see that on here. He's got so many pictures of tattoos he did for people. And apparently he charged a lot of money as well. He was pretty persistent about that. Check this out. Oh, it was just a song. I thought he was going to be talking to us. I want to find some videos where he's actually talking to us. I think when you, someone is talking to you, that's when you can really understand more of who they were. That's something neat about X is that he had all these videos where he's talking to you directly and you can get to know him that way. Uh, let's see, what is this? Is he going to talk to us here? I know my grandma's still with me. No, he's just singing songs. Well, we know that Chucky liked his music. Now, this picture we saw before as well in a previous video. And I said that, uh, sort of representative that he's going to end up incarcerated. It's in the jungle. And that's what the title said, right? He said, uh, this is what that jungle do. Yeah, it'll put you behind bars. You know, actually, you put yourself behind bars, but the environment can definitely make it much easier for you to end up behind bars. What is this? Again, showing the money. Yeah. So all three of them are showing off the money there. Is there 50s? It's got hundreds. I don't understand this. I don't under Can someone please explain this to me in the comments right now? Why would you want to have all that cash with you? I mean, it looks like a lot of money. Yeah, it is a lot of money. Put it in the bank, dude. What is this exactly? Does anyone know what that medallion is? It's, it sure isn't, it sure isn't a sonnet you. He says, I was dead broke last week. I ain't cry, I just got on my knees. So I guess he says he prayed for money. Uh, oh yeah, everybody, oh, look at all this hatred that he gets now. Yep, he, he asked for it. I mean, by being involved in something so evil. And there you can see the Z tattoo. He's actually a member of the Z's. It's a, it's a Florida gang. Here's another picture of him. He was some sort of phone call, it looks like. So he loved tattoos. He loved tattoos. And here he says, all good tattoos ain't cheap, and all cheap tattoos ain't good. Uh, basically his way of saying, hey, you want my tattoos? You're gonna have to pay me for my tattoos. I see the pyramid right there on his t-shirt. Some sort of an Illuminati symbolism there. I wonder if he had any sort of connections with the Illuminati or... Maybe it's just a fashion type thing. You can tell I'm not really up to speed on most of this stuff. I stopped listening to hip hop back in the day when G Unit went out of style. Okay, what do we have here? What is this? What, is he gonna talk to us? I just I don't understand, my friends. I don't no judgment on the face tattoos. I just don't I don't quite understand. Even the old school rappers, you know, Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre. I, 
Y you didn't see all of that on them. They, they didn't do it. When did it become so popular? I know that Lil Wayne would seem to be the first uh, modern rapper who started putting tattoos all over their face. Uh, and now it's if you want to be a rapper, you basically got to put tattoos all on your face. Uh, do what you do. I mean, but watch my shoes. Is he going to sing? No, he's probably singing a song, isn't he? Little fuck around and letting out that can move the control. I ain't got to check in once a week. She ain't popping up on me. One thing about it, though, you nigga dead. So he's actually talking about community control right there. And we learned about that in a previous video. It's a Florida thing. It's basically like house arrest. At the end, he just says you're dead. He says you're dead, right? Think about it, you nigga dead. That looks pretty good. Look at that. What is, ooh. Dang, Diedrich, what is that? Looks pretty tasty, dude. Here he is doing some business deals. Yeah, he made a lot of money doing tattoos. He just went down the wrong path, ended up becoming a, a killer and taking the life of a very, very loved person. Here's another picture where he's showing off the grill. Um, I want to find another one where he's talking to us. I really enjoy hearing people speak to you, like directly one-on-one -on -one communication. It really gives you a better image of who they were. Okay, here we go. It looks like he's about to talk. Hey, y'all wake y'all ass up, man. My motherfucking birthday, bitch. <laughs> hey, y'all wake y'all ass up, man. My motherfucking birthday, bitch. <laughs> so from these videos where he is talking to us, I think you can kind of see what, what kind of a person he was. Uh, doesn't really seem human to me, really. I mean, I'm sure his people who knew him would say different or otherwise, but I just... Okay, here we go. Look at his hairstyle here. Is he going to talk to us here? Y'all fuck with that girl, Kim Possible. She going to make it possible, you hear me? Kim Possible. Y'all fuck with that girl, Kim Possible. She going to make it possible, you hear me? What what does that mean? I mean, I know what Kim Possible is. It's a it's a Disney Channel cartoon. He watches Disney Channel. That hairstyle kind of reminds me of that movie. Don't be a menace to South Central while drinking your juice in the hood. Remember, he has like condoms hanging off of his hair and stuff. I love that movie. That's a really good movie. OK, there he is again with all the money. Yeah, he made a lot of money doing tattoos, man. It's just so unfortunate. He got mixed up in the wrong crowd and started doing the wrong things. Ended up killing X uh, again, just with all the money. Don't, why would you take all these pictures of yourself with money and put them on the internet? Th that makes you a target. People are going to want to take that money from you. Put that in the bank. You're going to get robbed. If you guys take pictures with money, stop doing it. You make yourself a target. Oh, hey, he's got a snap. Yo, man, all that shit takes a little bit of faith, man. I ain't saying I'm where I want to be in life, but I'm succeeding. You feel me? Just keep on doing what you're doing, my nigga. And, 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 and one day... You gon' shine, my nigga. Everybody had their time. Everybody had their ups and downs too. But you gotta struggle through that. You gotta be strong through that. You gotta be willing to take losses. You feel me? I enjoyed this clip right here more than any of the other clips in here. All right, let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. I like the bubbles in his beard. I don't like the bubbles on it. Like I like the fact he's in the bubble bath. And I like the fact that he's speaking a positive motivational talk. But once you remember who he is, it all sort of goes down the drain. Oh, here's a picture of him. He's showing off his physique. He was a, he was a pretty big guy, man. Like a, like, like thick wise. He was a thick guy. With cues, brother. With cues. Not, not CK. Again, the money. What if it's the same money? Like, what if he keeps this money under his bed and every picture it's the exact same bills? And I don't quite understand why people do this. I mean, no offense to people who have this. But uh, if you think it's attractive and you enjoy it, then you do it. Good for you. I just never got that. You have nice skin. Your skin looks nice. Whenever you do things like this, it makes it look like you're a leper or something. Hashtag Bible. If you have leprosy, I'm sorry. That wasn't a nice joke. I'm just kidding. Okay, here's here's another one. What do we have here? Is that, are those, those are his real tattoos, aren't they? I been in the booth in a minute. Cause I ain't rockin' no. What? I ain't been in the booth in a minute. Cause I ain't rockin' no. I'm starting to doubt whether or not the motivational bathtub video was him, because I don't think that he has the ability to talk like that. They're flexing. That's what it's called. Flexing. Is that him? Yeah, that's him. He's younger there, though. Throwback Thursday. I was 16. He looked like he was going places, didn't he? I want to hear him talk. Like, I want to see vlogs. I want to understand what was going on in this guy's mind to make him do this. I just want to see my I think that money was the most important thing in his life. He cared about money more than anything else, and it's pretty evident. And tattoos. Tattoos and money. We in the A running that check up, don't <laughs> So there were, there were children that, that looked up to him, that probably saw him as a protector. 
and as, as a loved one and uh well no no more opportunity there to to be a role model for kids or then again that's not the type of role model you want but but even people who do these horrible things can help kids in other ways like just by teaching them how to treat because you saw when he was talking about that positive motivational stuff he can teach people that stuff too so he could have helped these kids but now these kids don't have him to help them oh and there's a picture of him when he was when he was younger before he uh before the augmentation augmentation is that him and his sister or something probably him and his sister they look very similar he went down the wrong path dude he went down the wrong road you guys money can be the root to some evil it can be the root to evil it's not the root to all evil but it can be a root to evil oh diamond ring you got a diamond ring she going faint got her big ass diamond ring he must have been married Dude, you need a manicure, brother. Look at those nails. That's not him. Who's that? That's not him. Love. I got a chopper for the pot of shrimp and lobster for the monster. My nigga. He's not kidding, dude. He's rad. That was good. He needs to get a record deal, man. I'll go on a merkin spree and kill your whole family, smiley face. Yeah, I, I, I don't doubt that. I don't doubt that, Diedrich. Man, check this fly ass shit out, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? All y'all out there got my brother name and y'all mob and shit, man. Keep my brother name out y'all motherfucking mob, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? One count of first degree murder. Dedrick Williams is in custody for the murder of XXX Tentacion. And his brother is not too happy about it. His brother posted this on Instagram recently. That's what we're about to take a look at. Let's see what his brother has to say. Hey, man, check this fly ass shit out, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? All y'all out there got my brother name and y'all mob and shit, man. Keep my brother name out y'all motherfucking mob, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? We ain't playing no games, bro. You know what I'm saying? Right. Y'all getting y'all self in a whole bunch of trouble, dog. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just mind y'all business. Let them crack a do they motherfucking job, my nigga. Nigga pulling up for real, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? All y'all out there, I don't give a fuck, nigga. I don't pick faces, nigga. Fuck a nigga, nigga. Z shit, nigga. Y'all know what it is, nigga. Basically, he's talking about pulling up. I know some of you aren't familiar with what that means. I want to tell you what it means. We're going to head on over to Urban Dictionary. Pull up is basically a threat, okay? It's synonymous to drop your location or want to fight. So, if I had a problem with you, I would tell you, hey, you want to pull up? Obviously, he's very upset uh, with what they're saying about his brother. I would be upset if my brother was under these circumstances, too. Let's check it out again here. Hey, man, check this fly ass shit out, my nigga. Right. You know what I'm saying? All y'all out there got my brother name and y'all mob and shit, man. Keep my brother name out y'all motherfucking mob, my nigga. You right. know what I'm saying? We ain't playing no games, bro. You know what I'm saying? Y'all getting y'all self in a whole bunch of trouble, dog. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just mind y'all business. Let them crack a do they motherfucking job, my nigga. Nigga pulling up for real, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? All y'all out there, I don't give a fuck, nigga. I don't pick faces, nigga. Fuck a nigga, nigga. Z shit, nigga. He sure likes saying the N word a lot. I just, I don't understand why he has to be used multiple times in the same sentence. Pull up to approach someone to go somewhere. Yo, bro, pull up to the block. Pull up to replay a song from the beginning. I like the first one. It's like basically, you wanna fight? Hey, bro, you wanna pull up? Bitch, I already dry snitching on my shit. Yeah, they all on my Instagram, yeah. coming in, talking about you killed somebody. Y'all already dry snitching. The shooter was wearing a red mask. Kinda like that one. Or that one. Did Soldier Kid do it? A lot of people seem to think, yes, you be the judge. Soldier Kid and Soldier Jojo have both been on the radar since X was killed. The rappers have come forth to say they are both innocent and that they had nothing to do with X's death. A short while after X was pronounced dead, the Broward County Sheriff's Office released a description of the suspects. At least one of the suspects fired a gun. Both of the suspects fled in a dark colored SUV. Police say the suspects were black males wearing hoodies and that the shooter was wearing a red mask. Kinda like that one, or that one. Soldier Kid and Soldier Jojo had been posting various things on social media throughout much of the day on Monday. Many of the photos that they shared show the two rappers pictured with a red ski mask. Now a photo from Soldier Kid's Instagram story showed that he had picked up food nearby in Deerfield Beach, not too far from where X was killed. The image featured a styrofoam takeout container with various fried foods. Soldier Kid tagged Hook Fish and Chicken, a small restaurant chain that specializes in fried seafood and chicken baskets. Now this is that actual picture here, and as you can see, that's definitely a gun right there. Now keep in mind that he claims he was getting fish and chicken on this day, because later in this story, he's going to claim something else. Soldier Kid has since deleted his Instagram account. Soldier Jojo, whose Instagram profile pic is of the horror movie monster Michael Myers from the Halloween franchise, also posted a picture with a seemingly identical red mask. The picture, which features a date stamp of June 2nd, shows Jojo crouched next to a car with the red mask atop his head, his face still visible. He appears to be extending his middle finger toward the pavement. Notably, the image also has the letters XXX in red type.
Not long after people started wondering if Kid and JoJo might have had something to do with XXX's death, JoJo uploaded another picture, this one of him and Kid, in what looks to be a parking garage. You can see that below. After rumors that Soldier Kid and Soldier Jojo may have been behind X's shooting, Soldier Kid started an Instagram Live. He denied that he had anything to do with X's death, saying that he was at his house all day. I was at my house all day, popping Xanax and shit like that. Soldier Kid said on Instagram Live. We're gonna take a look at the Instagram Live right now. Warning, this video may contain strong language. Ladies and gentlemen, Soldier Kid. It's not on the nigga, but trust me. Y'all gotta get a bulletproof vest, all Cause niggas talking crazy on the ground, bruh. And have you niggas in my DM with all these death threats? Come on, bruh. Y'all niggas not with that, bruh. Fuck that. I know them boy want me to keep my mouth closed, but fuck that. You niggas ain't with that, bruh. And I don't give a fuck. Y'all niggas go get it. Y'all trying to run up on me. I, I don't doubt that for one second. And that's on the X, bitch. Alright. But now I ain't killing nobody though. Mm. Real shit, bruh. I ain't gotta worry about shit. Why don't y'all control? Why don't y'all snitch on the young nigga? How about that? Bitch, I already dropped snitching on my shit. They all on my Instagram, coming in, talking about you killed somebody. Y'all already dropped snitching. If 911, you feel me? If I were to do that shit, y'all already done killed me, bitch. Y'all already done shit the young nigga to jail. I'm saying though. I'm saying, though, whatever it is y'all think going on, I don't give a fuck. Trust me, man. Is this really how people talk in Florida? To be honest, I really don't gotta explain myself to y'all, to be honest. I really should say fuck y'all and make y'all think what, however y'all wanna fucking think. But I'm gonna get on live to clear all the confusion up, bitch. Well, it's nice of you to give an explanation, bro. I'm at home getting tears of money. Right. We ain't worried about none of you niggas, bro. You should be worried about Big Shaman. I'm a scholar pussy ass hoe, I got my education fucked, nigga. What did he say? I'm a scholar pussy ass hoe, I got my education fucked, nigga. I think something there was about education, but I just can't quite make it out. Fuck these niggas talking about, bruh. Bruh, cause these niggas just don't know, bruh. And, 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 and for everybody who think I did kill the man, you niggas ain't even living like that, bruh. So y'all ain't finna do shit to me, bruh. To stop talking all that crazy ass rah rah shit on gangster shit on Instagram, mm -hmm. bro. I don't even want to talk. I don't even want to talk like this. But damn, bro, y'all making me have to, bro. Right. Don't get too much crazy comment, crazy ass DM, <laughs> nigga. Fuck you. How about that, bitch? Twenty six thousand followers, bro. Y'all square ass niggas wasn't on my shit yesterday. Fuck, I want y'all square ass niggas, bro. Y'all square ass niggas wasn't on my live yesterday. Now y'all on my live today because y'all think I killed the nigga, bro. You feel me? I feel you, bro. I really want to say some throw shit, but I already know it's gonna happen. It's probably screaming for this whole shit right now. What? And that shit's gonna be on YouTube later tonight and all that shit. Did you say something about YouTube? You feel me? That's why I ain't even finna say no throw shit. I don't give a fuck about this Instagram shit, bitch. I'm a gangster. Fuck you, squash niggas. I believe it, brother. I totally believe it. Fuck y'all, squash niggas. I'm gangster. I don't give a fuck about none of this Instagram shit. Niggas got me fucked up. I don't, brother. Tell me I killed him now, bro. That's crazy, bro. And he think I'm out here playing games in my life, bitch. I don't think you're playing any I'm games. I'm kid, nigga. I was next start to blow, fuck, nigga. Right. Fuck you, fuck you, motherfucker. Talking about mother suckers, bitch. Sorry, I'm motherfucking on my live. Go check out my live mix. Tell you triple X, pussy hole, and killers and lovers from the draw next month. So, you feel me? Killers and lovers from the draw next month, July 4th. <laughs> that shit put us on dog. Go get that shit on iTunes and SoundCloud and that was Spotify and whatnot. Yeah. Okay. Dude, I thought New Orleans was bad. Holy shit. Florida makes New Orleans look like fucking Nebraska. Bullshit a lot. 30,000 haters with my shit right now. <laughs> and everybody on my live that I killed X10 Bitch, I was, uh, I was literally at my house all day. That's what I'm going to Xanax and shit like that. Thumbs up for Xanax, huh? I was really at home all day after Xanax and shit like that. Motherfucking Xanax! And you motherfuckers think I'm killing niggas all here. All right. In another video posted by Soldier Kid before he deleted his Instagram account, he says that he didn't even know XXX Tentacion. On Wednesday, police arrested Dedrick D. Williams and booked him for first-degree murder. It is unknown if there are any other suspects being sought by police at this time.